Hi guys and welcome back. This is Mike Hermes at MH Tutorials and today I want to show you guys how you can extrude faces along curves. Now that doesn't really sound like something that's very cool but as soon as you apply it I can assure you it is cool. So what can you use this for? For example, let's say we're modeling something like an octopus. Okay. And we create a sphere and we pull that out. I'll just pull it up a little bit, hit W, pull it up, and hit 5 for shaded mode. Now, let's say we want this thing to have tentacles. Okay, so what I can do right now is I'll go to Create, CV Curve Tool, and I'm just simply going to create something on the grid like that, hit Enter. And now I'm going to pull this up and position it so it's in line with one of the faces of my sphere. So we're just going to zoom in a little bit, see how that is working out. Okay, we're getting close. Okay, so. As you can see, my curve is going into this face right here. Now, next, what we do is we right-click on the sphere, go to face mode, select face. We shift select the curve. So these are both selected. And we go to, in our polygons menu, to edit mesh and extrude. Now, initially, you won't get the tentacle because there are not a lot of subdivisions here. so it has no choice but to follow a straight line. But as soon as we increase these subdivisions here, and I'm just going to increase that to, let's say, 500, you'll see that it's following that shape. Now, normally, if you got an octopus, um, the tentacles, they are tapered. So if we go into our tab right here, into our poly extrude face tab, we see two options here. One is taper and two is twist. So we're going to start off with a taper and I'm going to taper that down. And as you can see, it's nice and tapered. But another cool thing that you can do here is you can actually twist it. So I'm just going to crank that up to, let's say, 250. Okay. I'll just go to object mode so you can see it a bit better. Okay, and now you can clearly see that that is twisted. And, you know, that's one of the ways that you can do that. And uh, I thought it was pretty cool and I wanted to share it with you guys. So, hope you like it. Uh, at least this is the way I do it. If you've got any questions, uh, let me know. And thank you for watching.